There are sometimes occasions when you want to interact with your on-screen components through scripting, but you don't necessarily want to be getting references to them because you just want to do one task and you don't, you don't need the reference for the rest of the project. So let me show you a quick way of doing that. So we have a function called content.getAllComponents, and this is a very powerful function. We can use it for lots of things, but I'm just going to show you how to use it for one particular thing. So content.getAllComponents is written like this, and inside the parentheses, we can put a string, and this string can be something like the name of a component or just part of the name of a component, and it will do a search, and if that matches, it will return that component in part of an array. So if we look at these components, I've got a button, a knob, a combo box, and a label. Let's add another button. So now I've got two buttons, and importantly, their IDs both have the word button in them. So if I put button in here, and if we save the output of this function call into a variable, we'll call it components, and I'll hit F5, and if we have a look inside that variable now, we'll see it contains button 1 and button 2, so we get references to those components, and that's because we use the word button here, so it searches through all the components and grabs the ones that have whatever text is in here in the name, and we don't even need to use the whole of the word, we could just put but, and it will give us the same result. So we could use this, for example, if we want to set the background colour of all of our components to red. So we can write for c in content dot get all components. And if we want to get a reference to every single component on the interface, we just put an empty string in here and it will return a reference to every single component. And then in our loop, we can do c dot set bg colour and we can do colors.red. So we can see it's changed the background color of every single component now to be red. And then once you've done this, you may not need this script anymore. So you could actually just delete this and the values will stick because we've applied them uh, to the actual components. So content.getAllComponents is a very useful command when you want to interact with these widgets on your UI without grabbing individual references to each one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.